this is an experiment to study the to utilize biochar as an adsorbent for uh, human urine the other purpose is to enrich biochar with uh, nutrients which are present in urine so that the enriched biochar can be utilized as a fertilizer so here we will be overcoming the problems of handling of urine and also problems of applic problems faced by farmers while applying the liquid urine as a liquid fertilizer so in once we prepare the enriched biochar using uh, urine we will be in a position to get the dry powder which can be applied easily in this experiment we have tried uh, several treatment combinations like one is one is to one biochar and human urine that means one part of biochar and one part of human urine one part of biochar and 1.5 parts of human urine one part of biochar and 1.75 parts of urine and the highest dose is right is one part of biochar and one two parts of human urine so in this you can see it is one is to two so here we have used the hdp sheets to simulate to a rectangular or shallow rectangular tanks and here biochar finely powdered biochar is being placed 10 kg in each of these and in this particular unit 20 liters of urine will be applied at a time it is allowed to evaporate all the nutrients present in urine will get absorbed onto the biochar only water gets evaporated since both biochar and urine they, they are alkaline in nature initially urine will be acidic in nature but upon keeping or exposure it turns alkaline and biochar as such is alkaline in nature so with the result when the nitrogen present in uh, urine gets volatilized and lost but here to prevent the loss of nitrogen or ammonia the calculated quantities of sulfuric acid is being added so that the system becomes acidic in nature and uh, all the ammonia gets converted to ammonium sulfate and there is no loss of ammonia as such so that way the smell problem also would not be there and if this is adopted and our field conditions one can definitely use biochar as a adsorbent utilize urine to enrich that biochar and use that enriched biochar as a fertilizer later this is what we expect subsequently even once we prepare the enriched biochar with different quantities or proportions of urine applied we will be conducting field experiments which can be to find out the fertilizer value of the enriched biochar and also to come out with the ideal ratio for enrichment and also for using that as a enriched fertilizer so professor will this uh, also add to the carbon content of the soil yeah definitely biochar has uh, it has about 60 55 to 60% carbon in it and when once this biochar enriched with nutrients is added it will add to the carbon content and one advantage here is this carbon present in biochar it undergoes slow degradation and that way it helps in even uh, mitigating the carbon dioxide which is released into the atmosphere that is the other advantage of using biochar as an adsorbent and subsequently the enriched biochar as a liquid fertilizer so in some way carbon sequestration is also occurring Definitely. by putting it into soil it helps in slow release of carbon dioxide and carbon sequestration is taking place here uh, so not only is it some form of climate mitigation yeah. but it also climate adaptation yeah in definitely the, uh, in the sense that there is some slow fertilizer release yeah sure sure also we would hope that the moisture retaining capacity of the soil would perhaps be improved yeah the physical conditions of soil gets improved because of addition of biochar you can
there being a fine powder, it helps in improving the physical conditions. Also, it is a carbon source. Definitely, the physical conditions of the soil gets improved. So that way we can find an improvement in the physical, chemical and biological properties. In the sense, biochar helps in improving the physical conditions. Urine enrichment helps in providing the nutrients to the soil. Also, these nutrients and carbon present in biochar helps in improving the biological activities of the soil. So that way all the three will be fulfilled in one go. So this is a continuation of the Center of Excellence work in GKVK UAS, yeah. which started with urine application on the field. Yeah, definitely. The project funded by ARGEM and other agencies, UNICEF and ACI, it is being uh, continued and we hope to come out with uh, very meaningful uh, and practical information and uh, we may solve some of the problems of handling of urine, which the farmers are facing now. Thank you, Professor. That's Dr. Srinivas Murthy from the Soil Science Department, UAS, GKVK, Bangalore.